Dear CJ Thinker, welcome. Welcome in this new video of the series One Video Per Day Until the Christmas Day. Video about fluent arts of fast modeling and blender. And today I want to share a technique uh, to make this object. How to get uh, reach this result with fluent and only two cuts. Okay, let's go. The first thing is obviously create a cylinder. Press F and click on create. Right click on the ground to display the blue grid. I will use the circle. Left click and left click again. Something like this. And just for the style, I will add a second solidify and press C to get this result. Okay, the first cut uh, will be a solid of revolution. Press F, cut, right click on this face, press S to use the shape drawing tool, and press A to use the revolver mode. Oh, okay, so now the snap grid rotates, and I will just draw something like this. I will increase uh, the resolution, and like this, like this, like this. Mm, like this and like this. Right click to validate. I will move it uh, in the front view, GZ, uh, GZ, like this. Um, I will go in edit mode, SZ to increase the size like that. Replace it, okay. I will make just one adjustment for this cut. I hold the left click and use the first bevel. I go on the left side of the screen very away and I press X to deselect everything. Press X again on these vertices, X, and move your cursor like this and you have this result. Mm, I back to edit mode and I think I will just move these three vertices j x like this okay it's it's more like what i want okay right click to kit and i have this result okay now the second and the last cut press uh, your shortcut to display the boolean object or use show hide boolean object in the pie menu select this object Press F and click on Cut and right click on this face to display the grid. Uh, you start to understand? I will cut the Boolean object. Uh, I use the rectangle, I click on the center, or Shift to draw from the center, and I will make a very tiny rectangle like this, like this, okay? And now I call the circular array and I move it like that. I press C and increase the number of elements to 8. Left click to validate the circular array. I will just move it a little bit like this to be sure of the cut and right click to kit. And as you can see, the result is what I wanted. But if you check the mesh, if you check the shading, you can see some artifact. Use this one, it's very, very cool to see that. Okay, here you have some shading because we make cuts uh, on curved surface. So we, we have to fix the normal issue of a Blender. For that, I will select my object, press F and click on No More Repair Tool. The first thing is to merge near vertices, but in this case, I don't need to merge anything. So just go to the left side to be sure you have no merge and left click to validate this first step. The second step is to select the normal source. I want to get the normal of this object, so I click on it. And now I just have to select faces which I want to fix. Press C to select your faces like this. It's like a painting. Okay, move it, move the view and continue 
your selection okay like this like this and like this uh, everything that is selected press enter right click to kit and as you can see the result is now perfect as you can see it's uh, a very powerful technique we we reuse the technique when you cut the cutter and we reuse uh, the normal repair tool with a circular array on the cylinder so I hope you will use it in your model and this video is helpful for you. See you tomorrow for the next video. Bye. Sigi Sao, Jerome Valet, Grow Together.